Uh, my name is Dr. Ying Liu. I am a GYN medical oncologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center with a secondary appointment on our clinical genetics service uh, where I serve as the lead for the Inherited GYN Cancers Program. Now, this Foundation for Women's Cancer grant has been really pivotal in, in helping us continue work in gynecological cancers, especially endometrial cancer, which is an under-recognized area. And it's allowed us to really work on novel and innovative therapies like immune therapies. Our grant is going to help us study the stool microbiome and, and changes related to immune-based therapies. Immune-based therapies for endometrial cancer have been the new thing that's really improved outcomes for a lot of women, and we're going to try to see what changes in the stool as well as the peripheral blood over time with treatments can help us identify those women who would benefit the most from more therapy. So it's helping us understand how the stool microbiome interacts with these immune-based therapies and how to make them work better for more women with gynecological cancers. So I think our work um, today is still very preliminary. There's not a lot known about the stool microbiome, um, but it's definitely going to lay the foundation for the future. And I think we all know how important our gut is, and I have a gut feeling that this is going to be a big deal one day. We so appreciate all of the donors. This is such important work, and these women go through so much, and they deserve to have the best treatments and the best care and funding research. This helps us come up with innovative therapies to improve all their lives. I treat a lot of women with endometrial cancer, and I'm particularly interested in those with an inherited risk related to something called Lynch syndrome. And I have women who tell me that immune-based therapies for their endometrial cancer have really changed their lives. They were very scared of things like chemotherapy, but now that there's new novel therapies, um, they're more willing to undergo treatment and are doing very well with fewer side effects. So the goal of all of our studies are to better understand this and bring therapies like this to our patients.